I feel like the reason for a lot of the promiscuity that you see going on is has a lot to do with people really wanting intimacy and not knowing any other way to go about receiving it. Um, I know this because I, I was there um, seeking, trying to fill that void of wanting a connection, but not knowing any other kind of way to communicate that maybe I just needed a hug or maybe I just feel like cuddling. Um, and I feel like that's a lot of people, not just women. And so, you know, my last post that I, that I made about promiscuity, um, I don't ever want people to feel like I'm coming from a judgmental point of view or perspective or like I'm trying to sound better or anything because I was in the trenches just like everybody else here I am no better <laughs> okay um, but I just feel like it's important always for me to if I'm going to talk about something I want to also talk about the root of the issue and um I figured out that that was a, a root cause for a lot of people. They need, they have a void of, they just need a hug. They, they might, I had something happen recently where I was talking to a guy and he was um, in the porn industry. I meet all kinds of different people. Um, just the kind of people I meet, just it's, re it's a wide range, okay? And I remember him talking to me about just being tired of feeling like an object. He was tired of feeling like just a sex object or people just always expecting him to have sex with them or like and just expect nothing else. And it, it was just it was sad, but I was I was glad that he, you know, talked to me about that. And I basically just held his hand and he was like, you know, sometimes that's really all we need is this, what we're doing right now. And I, I, I felt like that's what he needed, you know, in the moment he needed a hug. He needed someone to listen to him. He needed someone to not be objectifying him. He just, he was happy with holding my hand. And I think this is really, it's, bringing my whole point home like this is so important and I, I really need for whoever's watching this video to think about that think about you know have you ever had sex when maybe really all you wanted to do was cuddle or you may have just needed a hug um really think about your sexual history and maybe if you were very promiscuous really think about like sit with yourself and pen out journal out these things because i'm telling you what what you will come up with like what i came up with was that you know we all just need love at the end of the day we all just want to feel loved and appreciated and or a lot of the times people have what's called skin hunger um they don't have any type of touch at all from people and so that's just another way for them to get that need fulfilled because I guess they feel like they can't just ask for that because there's so much pressure and we are inundated constantly constantly with images of you know that are about have sex have sex have sex music have sex like nobody's talking about true intimacy and it's very saddening to me this this really is sad to me and so I just wanted to make this video in relation to my last video 
because I did bring up promiscuity and I was a little upset because it's just like, you know, women, ladies, we cannot just be out here fucking these guys and they have no accountability to us. In no way. Sh so my video ended because <laughs> I didn't have enough space, but um, I was basically saying that we have to stop doing this. Like, and I was a little angry and it, it may have come across a little like I was being judgmental but it's just like let's start looking at the root of our behavior because that's the only way that um, we will be able to eliminate just this impulsive behavior that is getting us in a lot of trouble more trouble you know have you ever you know slept with somebody and immediately just regretted it right after. Like you feel like shit, you feel like, why did I just play myself? You can become emotionally sovereign, you can. It takes time, but let's just start looking at the cycles and patterns that we want to stop. And I know that that's what it took for me. I had to look at behaviors that was making me feel shitty. Like, why, why am I, uh, I am allowing this. The people I'm attracting into my life, I'm, I'm putting myself in situations to attract these people. The, people don't just find you. You go to these places and meet people. So this is why I'm like, it's never anybody's fault. Men aren't shitty. People aren't shitty for using you or that you feel like they're using you. You, we are always making decisions whether they are unconscious decisions or conscious, whatever, you are making the decision. And so we just need to start at the bare basic of looking at the patterns that we want to eliminate with our sexual behavior. That's a very personal, personal thing. Being penetrated, that shit is like the most intimate thing somebody you could do with somebody. You know, and I just can't fathom anymore doing it with someone that does not love me. Like, I don't, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not judging nobody that's still acting out those patterns of behavior. That's not what this is about. This is just about for people who want to stop this behavior and don't know where to start or don't even know why they're acting this way. You know, and a lot of the times when your sex drive is really strong, that's basically your brain making you or, or drawing you to act in a way that you might not necessarily want, but it's, it's making you want to go find someone. When your drive is up that high, you're gonna go find someone by any means necessary. That's how intelligent our makeup is. It's going to, if you are skin deprived or touch deprived or you know touch starved your mind is going to create a scenario that is going to satiate that whether it be through having sex or most of the times if that's all you know that is what you're going to conjure up in your consciousness to go do that's all that is that that's what i've been shown I, it could be something else a hormone imbalance i don't know but i know that's what it was for me you're conjuring up a situation or your your chemicals are creating this urge for you to go out and seek a partner to satiate that skin hunger when really all you just need is a hug if you were getting appropriate healthy levels of contact with people on a regular basis you wouldn't be in such a desperate de like state of desperation seeking that type of thing from somebody who doesn't love you and that just is gonna just pump you and dump you and get the fuck out of there and then you're wondering like why do all these guys keep why all these guys keep ghosting me this is gonna be a short video let me know in the comments um if you struggle with this and if any of this resonated or made sense so that i can make further videos Bye, peace lords, and please subscribe to my channel for other random videos because I'm an Aquarius and I don't know what a niche is. So if you like surprises, and you don't like being bored, well, subscribe. Bye.
into this pink, okay?